Hi, hello. This is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam with the class video series on research methodology and intellectual property rights. Uh, this is the eighth video of module five. Uh, module five, last video, uh, uh, with a subject called 21 RMI 56 under uh, Vishwasar Technological University with you, Belagavi, for the fifth semester students. This is the syllabus and uh, these are the different course outcomes based on the module wise course course outcome they are given provided for this particular syllabus and uh, the textbook which is uh, referring uh, which i have referred uh, which is engineering research methodology which is also mentioned in the in the syllabus you can download it freely from uh, the internet now this video i'm covering or explaining the case study of uh, apple incorporation versus Samsung Electronics uh, Corporation Limited. Okay, so based on that question is framed. How did the Apple uh, Incorporation versus Samsung Electronics Corporation Limited case impact the landscape of intellectual property considering the uh, key allegations uh, and uh, legal proceedings and subsequent uh, statement uh, Analyze the significance of this case in uh, uh, shaping the dynamics of design patterns, utility patterns, and the issue related to trade, uh, just and unfair competitions. Okay, so this is the points uh, which I made uh, for to explain this in detail uh, for this case study. Okay, so the introduction, the Apple Incorporation, Apple we already know that I mean production of the iPhone, iPad, etc as well as the Samsung, Samsung Electronics, normal Android phone uh, developer, one of the main uh, Samsung Electronics is very famous. So the case is landmark uh, uh, between the legal battle in the technology industry uh, involving the allegations of uh, patent infringement and the design copy. So the case, uh, it was filed in uh, 2011, uh, which is centered around uh, the design and uh, functionality of uh, smartphones uh, and tablets produced by Samsung uh, with the Apple company claiming that Samsung's products copied some of the key elements of the iPhone as well as iPad produced by the Apple company. Okay, that is the introduction to this case study. Uh, the uh, company Apple known for uh, its innovative designs and the user interfaces, uh, they claim that the Samsung's smartphone uh, and the tablets uh, they infringed, they copied or they violated the rule on several of its uh, utility and uh, design patterns. So the company, uh, Apple company, they argued that uh, Samsung's products, particularly the Galaxy series, they copied the distinctive uh, look and feel of the iPhone and uh, iPad, uh, including features like the, the, the rounded corners, uh, grid of icons and uh, the pinch to zoom gestures. These were, uh, they claim that they copied the Galaxy series. Okay, so the main allegation or key allegations are one of that design patterns. Uh, the Apple company asserted uh, design pattern infringement. Uh, they claimed that uh, certain uh, design elements of uh, their products uh, were uh, uh, without uh, the agreement or without uh, considering the law copied uh, by the Samsung company. So the design pattern included elements such as the rounded corners, the bezel or the icon grid on the home screen. So utility patterns, uh, the uh, Apple company they also claimed that uh, infringement uh, or the violation happened uh, of uh, utility patterns uh, focusing on the specific features and uh, the functionalities uh, such as the pinch to zoom gesture and the bounce back scrolling. These uh, items also copied by uh, uh, Samsung company without uh, getting the permission. Okay, now trade dress and uh, unfair competitions. So, uh, Cap company, Apple company, they argued that uh, Samsung uh, products uh, they imitated, copied uh, the overall visual appearances or the trade dress of Apple's devices, creating confusion among the con uh, consumers. 
so that is the allegation or another allegation so the initial verdict in uh, 2012 the jury found that uh, samsung is liable for patent infringement uh, and uh, they awarded uh, apple over uh, over uh, 1 billion uh, dollars in damage it's a roughly calculated amount not the exact amount uh, roughly calculated amount based on the news available so the jury also ruled in favor of uh, apple on uh, several counts uh, including both design and utility patent infringement so huge penalty was uh, given for on, uh, on uh, samsung uh, company for uh, copying the apple phones uh, uh, patents for the designs okay so the subsequent appeal and uh, the re uh, trials resulted in adjustments to the damaged uh, damages happened to the uh, apple apple company the united states court of appeals for the federal circuit uh, they upheld some damages but ordered a retrial to uh, reassess the amount of damages for uh, certain products then supreme court decision uh, uh, in uh, 2016 uh, uh, the Supreme Court they calculated on uh, they got the calculation of how much damage has been happened and the Supreme Court uh, unanimously ruled that damages for design pattern infringement could be based on the uh, entire products profits not just the components that were found to be infringing okay then final settlement was happened in 2018 uh, both companies reached a settlement to end all the ongoing uh, uh, litigations the terms of the settlement were not publicly disclosed but it is marked the conclusion of a lengthy legal battle between two tech giants uh, technology uh, uh, companies so the impact is that the apple uh, versus samsung case it has had a significant impact on the uh, technology industry shaping uh, the discussion around uh, patent infringement design protection and uh, the boundaries of uh, uh, innovation so this case highlighted the importance of uh, the design patterns and uh, intellectual property rights uh, in the highly competitive smartphone market that was the main impact of uh, that uh, uh, pattern case against uh, apple as well as uh, samsung so thank you very much for uh, watching my videos uh, all five modules uh, videos i have covered uh, every module uh, six to seven uh, or eight uh, videos i have covered completed the syllabus uh, right now in this with this so please do subscribe to my youtube channel if you are getting the help from this videos getting knowledge from this video please do subscribe please do share to your friends your uh, colleagues or your student friends uh, so that uh, they will get benefited i also will get benefited you know how you get benefited with based on the subscription as well as the uh, view hours okay so once again i would like to introduce my youtube channel my intuition 486y my class videos should be available only in the, this youtube channel my intuition 486y if anybody is uh, downloading my video and publishing in there please do kiss the file pattern the case okay. no nothing like that huh? okay so say that my intuition 486y is my youtube channel please do subscribe to this youtube channel and subs and support me so once again thank you one and all and have a nice day.